Good morning, Hillary. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take your time to get ready. Let's go. Uh, happy Sunday. Oh, nice stretch. <laughs> I like it, Jeanette. Let's go ahead and get ourselves um, into a seated posture. Um, and again, legs crossed. Uh, you can sit on a cushion or anything that just kind of helps uh, elevate your hips higher than your thighs to really feel yourself lengthening up through the crown of your head. Um, and if seated pose is a little challenging for your low, lower body, you can always come onto your back. So take a couple of seconds here to adjust yourself. And uh, when you're ready, let's all take a big, big, big inhale into the nose. And open mouth side out. And again, breathing in through your nose. Full breath, fill up your body. And a long exhale out through the mouth, long and slow. And if you haven't already, allow your eyes to soften to a close. And one more breath here, breathe into your belly, full breath in through the nose. Feel yourself lengthening all the way through the crown of your head, stretching up and staying lengthened. Exhaling. Allowing the sensation of the exhale to ground your sit bones a little bit further into the earth. And as you sit here in this stillness, take this moment and invite yourself to check in. How do you feel? What do you feel? And just let whatever thoughts arise, whatever feelings, sensations arise in this, in this moment, just let them come. One of our greatest freedom is how we react to things. So in this moment, as you sit here, where it there's no music. And the only sounds you hear is my voice, your breath, and whatever background noise is around you. Can you allow yourself in this moment to sit with those and inhale, checking in back to that breath. And exhale, root down through your sit bones and acknowledge this present moment here. This moment here, where in this moment, it's what truly matters. Breathe in, breathe out. As we begin our practice in the seated stillness, eyes closed, or you may be on your back, whatever pose calls to you. Allow yourself to sit with it. Noticing the sensation of each breath. What is the quality of your breath? And without judging it or feeling the need to change, give yourself permission to just be. Breathing in. Breathing out. This space here is for you. 
This is your magic hour to invite yourself to wake up and begin again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Soften your shoulders down away from the ears. On your next inhale, we're going to repeat a mantra, a mantra that allows you to anchor yourself into this moment. And this mantra, probably one that you've heard of many times. On your next inhale, I want you to say to yourself, peace begins with me and exhale, anchor into it. Inhale, peace begins with me and exhale, letting go, softening into this moment. This is your time. This is your space, the magic hour to feel, to tap in to that space, to hold space for yourself. Breathe in, breathe out. Peace begins with me. Continue to recite that mantra on your own, at your own pace. I'm taking notice. Peace begins with me. And if you feel yourself drifting away Gently guide yourself with loving awareness and breathe in again. Feel your entire body open, feeling spacious inside, a sense of ease. And as you exhale, peace begins with me. Begin to allow your breath return to its natural state. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and gently allow your eyes open and allow the surrounding to come to you as is. Take another full breath in and exhale. Peace begins with me. I slowly come on to, if you're sitting on any props, remove them from underneath you. And sit up nice and tall. Inhale the arms wide. Give yourself a nice stretch. Stretch them wide as you reach up towards the sky. Full breath in. Pause here for a moment. Inhale here. Exhale, hold. Inhale again. And exhale, open twist to your right side. Let your hand land. Gaze over your shoulder, holding here in this twist. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, twist a little further, drawing your gaze over your shoulder. And the same time, feeling that rotation of your core, your spine, massaging everything underneath. And then let's slowly inhale the arms back up towards the sky. Full breath, make it full, and then exhale, twist over to your left side. Your right hand can be placed on the outside of that knee, and inhale, lift the heart, and exhale, twist a little further. Draw your gaze over your shoulder, 
And by sitting up nice and tall, drawing your gaze over, feeling that lengthening the side of your neck as you're massaging your spine here. A silly inhale back up towards the sky, full breath here, and exhale, hinge forward here. As you plant your palms down, spread your fingers wide. Really feel the earth underneath your palms. Breathe in. Exhale, sink your hip bones, your sit bones down at the same time. Just taking notice of the sensations. There's no need to hurry. We're checking in to everything that we're feeling, whether it be underneath our palms, underneath our sit bones, along the side of our ribs. Let's inhale gently back up toward the sky and open twist to the right. Really let your breath out. Inhale back up towards the center and exhale, open twist to the other side. Inhale back up toward the sky and exhale, plant the palms down. Now inhale back up and exhale, release your right arm down and then left arm, dive over to the right side. At the same time as you're holding here, draw your gaze up, top, draw that top shoulder up and back ever so slightly. Continue to reach to the right side and at the same time, root down through that left hip sit bone. Inhale back to center, both arms up and then let's go ahead and drop the left palm down, left right arm overhead. Draw your gaze up towards the sky. Draw that top shoulders up and back ever so slightly. Continue to reach over to the left side and then root down through that outer hip there. Inhale back to center. And exhale, bring your palms down, look up. Draw the energy back down to you. It's a beautiful, sunny Sunday. Welcome, good morning. Let's slowly make our way onto our hands and knees. Shoulders, wrist back underneath the shoulders, knees hip width apart, spread your palms wide. Inhale, drop the belly, raise the tailbone, gaze up here. Oh, hold it here in this back bend. Exhale and hold here. Inhale, draw your gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest, doming that spine, tuck your tailbone, you can even tuck your toes, but it feels nice. And just holding it here. Press down, really keep those arms lengthened. Inhale, let's come back. Back bend here, and exhale. Alternate between cat and cow at your own pace. Feeling that lengthening, the massaging with the back bend, your spine, warming up your spine. And at the same time, again, one of our greatest freedom is how we react to things. So as you're moving with your breath, just notice what you notice. Sometimes we have thoughts that come up. I want you to then tap back into that breath, anchor yourself into the moment by bringing yourself to your breath. On your next inhale, let's come to neutral tabletop, tuck your toes and slowly lift your knees a few inches off the earth. It's holding here. Yeah, draw your gaze down towards the mat, slightly untuck your chin, hold here and breathe. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. One more time, full breath in, warming up our entire body. And as you exhale, fully release the knees back down, untuck the toes, bring the big toes together, knees wide, and sink your hips down towards your heels. Walk your hands away from your head and let your forehead kiss the earth in this moment here. Inhale, gently come back into your tabletop. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees, hip width, tuck your toes, and slowly again. Inhale, lift your knees slightly, few inches, and hold here. Breathe and hold. Once again, our intention today is tapping into how we react to things. Once we're able to find that peace inside of us, that's when you know that magic is happening. You are free when you're able to stay calm. Breathe in, breathe out. One more full breath in, in. And as you exhale, slowly draw your hips up and back. Adjust and come into our first downward dog of the morning. Adjust as you need it. Maybe step your feet back a little bit. Let your head hang here. Walk your dog here. At the same time, can you alleviate that tension in your wrist by drawing your hips 
up and back, lengthening that spine. Let's everybody bend the knee here. Inhale, push the mat away from you as you continue to draw your hips up and back towards the back end of your mat. Let your head hang. Draw your gaze behind the legs. Breathe in. Holding here. Exhale. See if you can gently keep your hips up and lifted. Spine lengthen. Can you slowly draw your heels down? And it's okay. They don't touch the mat. Inhale. Re-bend the knee. Exhale. Lengthen. One more time here. Inhale. Re-bend the knee. Exhale. Lengthen. And then let's inhale. Glide into your high plank. Release the knees down. Untuck the toes. Draw your elbows. Hugging them in as you lower all the way to your stomach. Inhale, baby cobra here. Draw your elbows to the midline of your body. Draw your shoulder blades together as you lengthen them down your spine. Breathe in, heart forward. Exhale, tuck the toes. Slowly lift yourself up and back into your downward dog. Take a big inhale in through the nose and open mouth side out. Inhale, lift the heels high and glide into your high plank. Release the knees down, untuck the toes. And again, let's come all the way down to our belly. Inhale, hugging the elbows in, baby cobra here. Lengthen your shoulder blades down your spine. Now this time, glue your feet together like a cobra tail. Press down on the tops of your feet and pause here. Engaging, activating our legs and glutes. Inhale, lengthen your arms here, draw your heart forward. Breathe, soften your shoulders down your ear. Exhale, come on to your, lift the hips up and back into your downward dog. Inhale, let's glide once more into your high plank. Yogi's choice, you can stay here or release the knees down as you lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Let's slightly float our hands a few inches off the earth here. And exhale, press down. This time, lengthen the arms here into full cobra. Option, a little extra. Press down on the tops of your feet to lift your knees and thighs off. Holding here, draw your heart forward. Soften your shoulder blades down your spine. Breathe in. And we exhale, draw the hips up and back into our downward dog. Inhale, walk your dog here. Walk it all the way to your hands into a forward fold. Grab opposite elbows and just sway side to side. Inhale, release the fingertips onto the earth. And then slowly walk it forward. Come into your halfway lift here. Lengthen the spine forward, heart forward, thigh bones back. Exhale, hug it in, forward fold. And let's root down, rise all the way up. And palms together. Exhale, release. Inhale, the arms wide. And then swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back into your high plank. Yogi's choice, shift forward, lower all the way down to your belly. And come up into your full cobra or press down on the top of your feet and come into your upward dog. And we exhale into downward dog. Inhale, float your right leg behind you. Exhale, knee to nose three times. One, kick it back out. Two, kick it back out. Three, hold it here, engage it. Four, full breath in. And let's go ahead and step that right foot in between your hands. Spin the back foot down flat. And we're opening up to the long end of our mat. Warrior two here. Open your arms into a T. Beautiful. Draw your gaze down your right fingertips. Inhale, straighten up both legs and re bend. Inhale and re bend. One more time. Inhale and re bend. Hold here. Breathe in. Soften your shoulders down. Take a moment. Draw the corners of your mouth up and smile. Exhale, bring that forearm, right forearm to right side, left arm overhead here, just up towards the sky. Holding here. Let's go ahead and face that left palm to the front of your mat and then lengthen it over your left ear here. Feeling that lengthening. While you're reaching your left fingertips to the front of your mat, can you root down to the outer edge of that left foot? Really feeling that smooth transition and channel from your fingertips all the way to the outer edge of that back foot. Breathe into that side. Breathe out. On your inhale, go ahead and reverse it. Left arm down, right arm up towards the side, keeping that front leg bent. Inhale, hold here. At the same time, root down through that front right toe mount and then feeling the lengthening from your right hip points all the way to your right fingertips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale here. 
Exhale, windmill your hands down. High to low you go. High plank yogi choice. Knees lifted or lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, cobra or upper dog. And we exhale, draw the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale in through your nose. Open mouth side out. Inhale, put your left leg behind you. Exhale, need to know three times. One, kick it back out. Two, kick it back out. One last time. Three, and hold here. Engage the core. Press, dome that spine for a little bit. And then step your left foot between your hands. Spin the back foot flat and open up to the long end of your mat. Warrior two on this side. Very good, drops in that two. Open up your arms. Draw your gaze down your left fingertips. Breathe here. Breathe here. Inhale, lengthen the legs and arms up towards the sky. Exhale, rebend. Two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rebend. One last time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rebend. Hold here. Soften your shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale, left arm on the four, left forearm on the side, and then lengthen. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Just hold it here. Straight up. Breathe in. And then exhale, palm, your top palm facing the front of your mat and then lengthen it over your right ear. Yeah, reach your fingertips to the front of the mat at the same time. Root down through the outer edge of that right foot. Feeling that straight line. When you are straight, the air is easily able to travel up and down, creating space in the side body. So breathe into that, lengthen it. One more full breath. Exhale, go ahead, reverse it. Right arm down, left arm up towards the sky. And in this moment, same concept. Open up the side, left rib cage. Everything as long and straight and open as you can. Breathe into it. One more full breath. And exhale, cart with your hands. And step into your high plank, low to go, high to low you go. Vinyasa here. And then we begin again. Inhale, float your right leg behind you. Exhale, step between your hands. Spin the back foot down and open up into your warrior two here. Now we're gonna skip the little warm up. We're just gonna go ahead, inhale here. Exhale, right forearm to the right side. Lengthen your left arm over your ear here. Inhale, reverse it. Whim your hands high to low you go. Breathe into it. Meet in downward dog. And then we do again the left side. Inhale, put your left leg up. Exhale, step through. Spin the back foot flat and open up to the long end of the mat. Warrior two. Inhale, hold. Anchor yourself. Exhale, front forearm to that thigh and lengthen your back arm over your ear. Yes, extend the side angle. Beautiful, Debbie. Look at that straight line. I see it. Inhale, reverse it. And exhale, windmill your hand, high to low you go. The chaturanga, always there's an option to bring the knees down first. Check in with your body, breathe into it. One of our greatest freedom is how we react to things. Go ahead, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step through, pivot the back foot to flat and open up into warrior two. Inhale, hold here. Exhale, extend the side angle, front forearm to that thigh and lengthen the back arm over. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse it. And exhale, windmill your hands high to low you go. Breathe. Inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, step between your hands pivot the back foot down open up into the long end of your mat beautiful Jeanette inhale anchor here exhale forearm to that thigh back arm over your ear top ear beautiful inhale reverse it and exhale windmill your hands high to low you go one last time yeah let's go Henry I see it <laughs> beautiful <laughs> oh I love that smile exhale downward facing dog Ah, inhale, float your right leg up behind you and just give it a nice little bend. So you're opening up your hips here. 
Okay, draw the right heel over your left thigh. Just get a little, nice little bend. And then let's re-square our hips. Bring the knee to nose, hold here again. Engage that core, right? Firing up that core, slightly untuck your chin. And let's go ahead and step that right foot in between our hands. If you need to take a two steps, that's okay too. Okay, runner's lunge here. And then inhale, slowly rise up into your crescent lunge. High lunge here. Breathe here. Exhale, sweep your hands behind you. Bring the palms to face each other like you're holding a beach ball. And soften your shoulder blades together down your spine. Really activate those arms. Spread your fingers wide. At the same time, draw your right thigh bone back and in as you draw your left hip flexor forward. Feeling that slight alignment here. Breathe in. Inhale, rise up. And then dip that left knee down. Exhale, come back. Fly. Here we go. Two more times. Inhale, dip that left knee. Exhale, fly. Woo, breathe into it. Inhale, dip. Exhale, fly. And hold here. Hold here. We're going to shift our weight forward to that right foot. And we're going to float the left leg up. Inhale, float. Shift your weight forward and float here. Option to bring your hands onto the blocks here. Squaring your hips down towards the earth. Your left foot, toes are pointed down and flex. Breathe in. Five. Four, three, two, one, and slowly step back into your high lunge. Breathe here, right? Take a moment, check in. It's like this, there's a space between stimulus and response. In that space, you can decide how you're gonna react. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, spin the back foot down, open up to the long end of your mat. Yes, you can adjust the back foot. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Reverse it here. Yeah, we know this. Exhale. Back to warrior two. Straighten that right leg. Draw your left hip back. Bring your right palm to face the sky. And imagine you're holding a plate of food. Breakfast, right? Reach and pretend you're giving it to your somebody here in front of you. And exhale. Bring the hand down either onto a block or onto the floor. The left arm can be on your hip and then slowly reach it up towards the side. Triangle pose here. Check in. Are you falling back? Right toe, root down to that right toe. And then root down to the outer edge of that back foot. If you're feeling over extension in the knee, you can slightly bend that front knee. Breathe here, breathe out. Inhale, now let's go ahead and look down towards the earth. Rebend that front leg and slowly come back into your reverse warrior here. Ah, and then when your hands, high to low you go. <laughs> Inhale, beautiful. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend it at the knee and open up the hips here. Just give it a nice little hip opener, right? And then let's go ahead and re-square the hip. Bring that knee to nose and hold here. Hold here and breathe. And slowly take your time to step that left foot in between your hands and rise up into your high lunge here. <sighs> Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hinge forward, sweep your arms back, palm facing together like you're holding that beach ball once more. Draw your left thigh bone back in, right hip flexors forward, breathe here. Inhale, rise and dip that right knee down. Exhale, to the back. Two more times. Inhale, get the right knee down. Exhale, to the back. Breathe here. Inhale, dip the right knee. Exhale, to the back. And hold here. Hold here. Like you're ready to take off and launch, right? Like, man, beautiful. I see Debbie's ready. Henry, woo, you guys are ready. And when you're ready, go ahead and shift your weight forward to that left foot and float the back right leg off the earth. Your hands again can be back or on the block or in prayer or forward. Now, slice that right foot, draw the toes down, three here. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly touch down like an airplane landing, right? You don't want to land all fast. Right? You're going to take your time, rise up. Spin the back foot down, open up to the long end of your mat. Warrior two here. <sighs> Inhale, reverse it. 
Exhale, come back to your warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Bring that right hand to your hip. Left palm face the sky. And bring that food to your loved one in front of you. Exhale, place it down. The empty plate. Top arm can reach up towards the side. Hold here. Breathe in. This is a triangle pose because you'll see different triangles underneath your leg and between your arm. Breathe in. Leg down towards the mat. Re-bend that left leg and come back into your reverse. And exhale, windmill your hands high to low you go. I'm sexy and I know it. You're sexy and you know it. <laughs> and now put your right leg behind you. Exhale, let's go ahead and just step between your hands and rise up into your high lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms back without dipping the knees. Inhale, rise up again. Spin the back foot down and open up into your warrior two. Inhale, hold here. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach forward into your triangle pose and release. Triangle pose, yeah. Rebend that front knee and rise, reverse it. And then exhale, high to low you go. We'll do one more on the left side before we add on. Again, check in. What comes up when you're faced with challenging things and thoughts? I have a story I wanna share with you. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step between your hands. Take your time to rise up into your high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, spin the back foot down, open up into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg and reach forward. And when you can't reach anymore, go ahead and release. Triangle pose here. Look down, re-bend that front leg, reverse it. And exhale, whip your hands high to low you go. So yesterday, uh, I went to this yoga class. And uh, it's a heated yoga studio. And it's, you know, it's obviously different from what I teach. Okay, let's go ahead and inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, step be, and between your hands, crescent, here we go. All right, rise up with your arms. Shift your weight forward and let's fly again into your warrior three, Vera Bajrasana three here. Okay, hold here, now hold here. You have the option to keep your arms behind you. So the class is super different in terms of there's points where they just ask you to free flow, okay? Sister Debbie joined me in that class. Her power, which I want to remind her once more, is her reaction. Although she was out of her comfort zone, her reaction was, I'm going to stay in it. That is where freedom lies. That is where her power is. So I want to remind you, you can do this. Breathe here, five, four, three, two, one, so it's touch back down, rise up. Spin the back foot down, open up into your warrior two. We all face ups and downs. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, come back into your warrior two. Reach forward, lengthen the front leg, reach forward. And then go ahead, triangle pose here. Inhale, re-bend that front knee and reverse it once more. And exhale, with your hands high to low you go. So again, one of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. So just remember, can you remember a time where you were faced with such a tough, tough situation? Inhale, put your left leg behind you. Exhale, step between your hands and rise up. One last time here before we continue to add on. Exhale, shift forward and float your right leg off. Warrior three. Hold here for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly touch back down, rise up. Spin the back foot down, open up into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, come back into your warrior two, straighten the left leg and reach the left side as you release back into your triangle pose. Inhale, look down, re-bend that left leg and reverse it. And exhale, wind on your hands high to low you go. We all have that power. 
Learning how to breathe and be okay when my mind feels dark and gray. To accept this passing moment with super, without suppression or lasting fear. To know what the clouds moving through me do not define who I am or who I will be. Inhale, float your right leg up toward the sky. Exhale, step through. Inhale, let's come up into your warrior three. Shift your weight forward. Exhale, come back into your crescent. Spin the back foot down, open up into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, warrior two, straighten the right leg and reach over to the right side and then release down into your triangle pose. Breathe, bend that front knee as you come up into your reverse. Now this time we're adding on, we're going to come into our half move. Inhale, reach your right arm down onto the earth, onto the floor, and then shift your back leg full, uh, closer. And when you're ready, shift your weight to that right foot, float your back leg up. Your body is facing the long and the mat. Okay, your right hand is on the block or on the earth. Your left hand can hang out on your hips, or if you're ready, lengthen them up towards the sky and reach. Flex that floating foot. Draw your gaze forward, down, or up towards the sky and breathe here. Let it shake, let it wobble. And again, check in. What is your reaction in, to, in this moment? How are you going to go past this? How are you gonna push yourself? Breathe in. If you fall out of it, check in with your reaction. What are you gonna tell yourself? Bring yourself some loving, gentle awareness. Breathe in five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold again. 
Let's plant the right palm in the center, bend into that right knee, lengthen your left leg, reach your left arm up towards the side into like a twist. Now hold it there, draw your gaze up, does that feel nice? Exhale, let's switch side, left palm down, bend into that left knee, right leg straight, reach up towards the right side. And then let's go ahead, bring the palms down, step back into your high plank, and then make your way all the way to your belly, however you want. You can go upper dog, cobra. You can take a moment into child pose. Just make a way into your belly for a moment. Bring your hands to both sides of your armpit. Hold here for a moment. Come onto your fingertips. Root down and rise up here for cobra, wide cobra. And we exhale, baby, child pose. Inhale, let's glide. And we're gonna come into our forearm here. Tuck your toes and then come onto your forearm plank. Your hands, you can interlace them or you can bring the palms to face down on the mat. And we're just gonna hold here. Draw your heel back slightly, just engage. Begin to engage every part of your body. Slightly untuck your chin, soften your shoulders away from your ears and hold here. Feel your entire body firing up because this is your day this is your day to check in with yourself one of your greatest freedom is how you are going to react to this when it gets hard lean into the heart come on Henry let's do this <laughs> breathe into it breathe into it and then slowly release, come onto your belly. Give yourself a nice little cobra heart opener. Breathe in fully, yeah. And exhale, press into your child's pose. Take a moment to reset here, child's pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly come onto your hands into a high point, okay? Spray your fingers wide and hold here in high plank. Slightly untuck your chin, draw your gaze down, feeling that lengthening, the alignment of your neck and spine, holding here. You're gonna stay strong in this moment. Nothing is gonna shake you. Imagine your roots are growing down from your palms into the earth, the roots growing down from your toes down into the earth and you're anchored. Nothing is going to shake you. Continue to breathe here, breathe into it. And at the same time, one of your greatest freedom is knowing how to react to things. Peace begins with me. Can you allow in this moment to be prepared to meet a new version of yourself every time you push through it? You push through another layer of old trauma, conditioning, or hurt. As you let go, your perspectives and interests will shift. Transformation is natural as you travel the road to great self-awareness and peace. Breathe into it. You're not going to fall. You're going to stay strong. I'm doing it with you. A couple more seconds. Breathe into it. When it gets hard, I'm going to do. I invite you to challenge yourself to the reaction that you normally give yourself and instead Peace begins with you. Let it shake, let it wobble. You got this. Five. One, slowly release the knees, big toes together. Sink your hips back and come all the way down into child's pose. Take a big, full breath in. And a cleansing exhale out. Even after healing significant trauma and old conditioning, you will not be happy all the time. It is natural for your mood to go up and down. What does change is that you react less to old triggers. And when the mind feels turbulent, you do not fall easily into past patterns. Judging yourself by the first impulse that pops in your mind is unfair. That is just a copy of who you were in the past. Who what you intentionally decide to do shapes who you are and influences who you will be in the future. So remember, pause, it's gonna be think, ride, and act. Ride, sunshiny day.
Take another full inhale here. And let everything, all the doubt, all of it, let it out. Feel the inhale. Let's come all the way down to our stomach. You can make a pillow with your forearm to rest your forehead. Bend the knees here and just windshield wipe it side to side. You know, even with all the rain, right? The sun is out. That is what we always have to remember, that everything is temporary, everything changes. At the end of the day, there's always going to be sunlight. Sunshine always breaks through. Inhale, come to neutral. Release your legs down. Bring your hands next to your chest on both sides. Lengthen the left arm out. And then place your left cheek on the earth here. Bring your right hand, let me do the other. Bring your right hand closer to your heart. Lift your right leg off the earth and then go ahead and shift it over. So we're kind of doing like a dynamic, so you're gonna alternate sides, right? Hip opener here. Your cheek's gonna alternate from side to side and your arm's gonna alternate lengthening from either side. Just breathe into that low back area and just notice how does this feel for your hip area? Mobility, right? By doing little things like this, it's actually adding to making us feel more mobile as we age. Although it may not seem like we're doing much, but again, we have to change our mindset that long lasting progress is not just one magic, magic situation or event. It takes time. It's those magic in the tiny, tiny progresses, tiny moments, the consistency of showing up every day for yourself. And you know, we all have our ups and downs. And once again, our practice today is how to react to things when we have those downs, especially when we have those downs. And let not let those downs be our driving force to not continue. On your left, one more time on each side and go ahead and come to center. Push yourself all the way up. And one more time into child's pose here. Walk your hands away from you, spread your fingers wide. Inhale, come into your tabletop. Cross your ankles and sink your hips back. Lengthen your legs out in front of you. And then hug your knees all the way down. And rock side to side. Another, bring your attention back to your breath. Inhale into the nose and out through the nose. Go ahead and plant our feet down, hip width. Draw your heels closer to your glutes, your arm alongside you. Inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky as you raise your arms overhead. Rooting down through four corners of your feet, tucking your tailbone, and exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift the hips, arms overhead, and exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, up. And exhale. One more time here. And as you lift everything, I want you to hold it here. Root down through the four corners of your feet. Tuck your tailbone to feel the lengthening of the front body and your arms overhead reach away from you. Soften your jaw, relax your throat. Breathe in. And then slowly exhale, release everything back down towards the earth. Hug your knees in once more, rock side to side. Plant your left foot down and bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. Inhale, thread your hand through the leg. Clasp your hands behind that left hamstring. Flex both feet and then draw your left knee closer to you. You can use your right elbow to continue to open up. Push against your right knee to open up that side. Breathe in, breathe out. And whenever our mind starts to fluctuate with so many thoughts and chaos arise, practice the mantra, peace begins with me. Practice tapping into that breath. That is a tool that is always with you, a gift that you've been blessed with. 
Breathe in one more time here. Exhale, release the left foot down towards the earth and slide the top right knee on top of the left knee. Open your arms out into a T and drop both knees to the left side. Final twist here. You can bring that left hand on top of that knee there. Draw your gaze overhead. And you soften the right shoulder blade down towards the earth at the same time. Breathe into the low part of your body. Relax your cheeks. Feeling the opening of the right sh top shoulder area. And then gently with control, bring your knees back up, uncross them, hug nice tight, and then plant your right foot down, left ankle on top of that right knee. Draw the right knee towards you as you thread your hands through, interlacing your hands behind the right hamstring, flex both feet, and again, as you draw your right knee closer, you can use the left elbow to press open that left knee. Breathe here. And then gently replant that right foot down. Slide the top knee over the bottom knee. Open your arms out into a T and drop both knees to the right side. Draw your gaze over to the left. You can use the right hand to place it gently on top of that left knee. And then again, breathe in here and soften your left shoulder blade down towards the earth. And maybe even closing your eyes and by doing so, just tuning into the sensations of your body when your eyes are closed. Notice what you notice. Notice the magic of this moment just by tapping into yourself. Inhale, bring both knees to center, uncross the legs, and give yourself a nice hug. Breathe in, exhale, lengthen your legs up towards the sky, flex and point your feet here. Maybe circle the ankle one direction and the other direction. And then you can, you know, come into happy baby pose, rock side to side, that feels nice. And then lastly, let's bring the knees together. Hug yourself once more, hug into a tight ball, float your forehead, and hold yourself into a tight ball. Breathe in, hold that breath, hold it as tight as you can, as you tight as you can. Because in this moment, in this breath, this is your energy, this is your power. Keep it with you always and remember it always that you are in charge, you are in control of how you react to things. That is your power. That is your freedom in which you will be destined to reach. Once you are able to recognize that that is all yours, one more breath in. As you exhale, slowly lengthen your legs down, lengthen your arms alongside your palm facing up. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Close your eyes if they're not all closed. Let your feet fall to the side. Let your hands slightly fall to the sides, fingers naturally curl in slightly. Allow yourself once more to come to the state of peace.
trust all let the earth hold you take care of you and nurture you As we drift it away, we really bring attention back to your breath. Wiggle your toes, your fingers, and inhale, reach your arms overhead. Give yourself one final stretch. And exhale, hug your knees in. Send yourself a thank you and celebrate yourself in this moment. You did it. Keeping the eyes closed, go ahead and roll onto either side in fetal position and pause there. Again, check in. Notice effects of your practice. Eventually, you start to see changes. Your mind becomes light, the trees look bright, the air you breathe begins to feel like food for new opportunity, and life takes on a crisp color pattern. Ups and downs will continue to come, and there is still much to learn but you are calm now and do not fear the old storm, which seem to pass more quickly. A new awareness arises to gently remind you that your power is yours to wield and is ready to propel you forward into peace and liberating insight. When you're ready, gently press yourself up to a seated position, sit up nice and tall, and bring both hands over to your heart. Inhale here, take a breath in. Feel your entire body lift with power, purpose, love, gratitude, and holding on tight to those. Stay lengthened and exhale all the doubt, all the fear, whatever is not serving you, let them all go. Because by doing so, you are bringing yourself closer to that freedom, to that peace, to that joy, to that peace that begins always inside of you, with you. Let's bring our palms together to heart center. Take another full breath in. And as you exhale, draw the corners of your mouth up and smile. It's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. The sun is out. You know, you did it, you made space, you created time for yourself. So take this moment to celebrate yourself once more and look at how far you've come. I invite you every day to wake up and begin again. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. May love, peace, uh, strength dive inside you. May you feel it, may you live it, and may you share your magic with the world. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you, yogis. All right. Ah. You know, it's also a practice for myself, right? Reacting to things. <laughs> but yesterday, Sister Debbie, woo! That was, that was, that was amazing. Oh, I admire you so much. Yeah, so Sister Debbie, she was like, I don't know what we're doing. I'm just going to sit. That is power in just sitting and not, not feeling like people are gonna be watching you. Like, why isn't she doing it? So, much love, sis. Oof, all right. Let's go ahead and take our photo. 